This is what you call the perfect story. What I'm about to say is something I never thought I'd say. I think I found my favorite episode in anime. And yes, that's including Attack on Titan. Now, I don't say that. I may say a lot of things that are best things I've ever seen or best things I've ever heard. But when do I say that I like something more than Attack on Titan? Never! I've never said that. So I already know there's going to be a wave of comments of people saying that I fake my reaction to this. Because they saw about a year or two ago, one of my comments under... Uh, Hunter Hunter episode 131 reaction on YouTube even when I countless times I've said that it wasn't me then many people are logged into my account during that time not anymore I kicked that bitch off whether you believe it or not I don't think you could fake these emotions I had in this video, but it's up to you I've embraced the fake reaction allegations and the pre-watched allegations I I'm actually gonna print it on a shirt all my hunter hunter reactions are available on patreon we have like 10 to 12 episodes left and we're gonna finish it this month go ahead on over there and yeah that's it so these next two episodes are the episodes that people have been telling me about since the very beginning since before I even started watching hunter hunter I'm ready he looks so god to you're floating down like that, man. I love Merum. Not Miriam, Merum. I love him so much. I think he's an awesome villain. Yeah, he's OP as fuck. But I love him. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is why people have been waiting, man. It's all about going to Pito, right? That's why. That's why we're waiting for me to watch. She's like watching the anime from different perspectives. This is how I wish I could watch Hunter x Hunter. The atmosphere is quiet but loud as fuck right now, like you know what's going on. It's loud of emotions and hatred and literally despair in the name of the episode. Gone is empty inside right now, he has one goal. This is kind of, this is sad and scary at the same time. That's what it's given off. <sighs> Gone definitely hears that vibration. I hear it. The way she just tapped that shit? What? Gone didn't hear that? What? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. She was our killer was back. She doesn't need to keep going with Gone now. Because Kumugi is okay. So she could just... Man, what? No! Oh my god, wait! Poof could transform into Kamugi and he lied! So. Oh my god, he lied! So. So. <laughs> so. P2. P2 could, could believe that she's okay. This dude is orchestrating his own plan. His own agenda he's pushing. He's pushing his agenda like he's Disney. I was like, what? Kamugi was with him all along! What with Killua? Oh, fuck those people right now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh shit! Kite! He's on his knees? Dude, he's dead! What? I don't get it! Unless Pito heals him now? Oh, I don't like what's about to happen. I don't like this at all. Pito believes that Kamugi is fine, so. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh god, those fucking drums of liberation play it? He's dead, he's dead. He's... <laughs> That was the biggest mistake of Pito's life. Of her five, of her five months of living. Yo, oh my god. I mean, I knew he died. His head was detached from his fucking body. But still, you never know with anime. I thought his, his head was going to start walking. Now imagine.
Imagine if Kilo had died. No. I won't be back to Kilo was gonna be like, how's going? And she's gonna be like, let me check. Oh my god. Wait, didn't Kilo was tell Ikalgo not to say thank you anymore and he's over here saying it? Oh no, don't ask how going is. Oh my god, you're gonna see him breaking down crying. Oh my god, man, this is gonna be insane. He is so empty right now. Literally his role model. Because he didn't have a father. I mean, King's alive. He had a father. But, like, Kite was the one that trained him like that. And then he blames himself. That's the worst thing to do, to start blaming yourself. Gon is completely empty right now his anger turned into pure sadness and depression but i feel like this is like a, a star wars moment when anakin like we all know what this is gonna lead to complete pure anger and that's gonna be scary bro which leads to suffering this ost is very specific to this scene just going reminiscing about his love for kite and blaming himself his eyes completely empty. This feels so real to me. I know it's anime, but man, this is real. His angry side telling him it's Pito's fault, but then his light side telling him it's his fault, and it's conflicting with each other. That's his brain screaming. That's not him out loud. Internally battling his external. This is too fucking good. Unmatched. Hunter Hunter is unmatched. And I think this is going to be the defining scene. The, this part of the, 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 this, the arc. She's letting him suffer like this. <laughs> Wait a minute, no way. So there's a chance. You just let the motherfucker cry like that if there's a chance? This is too much, man. This is the greatest fucking thing I've seen in, in a fucking minute, man. Since I started this goddamn channel. I don't want to say crazy things right now, man. I'm just very, like, emotional and in the moment right now. I didn't think shit would come close to Attack on Titan with a fucking emotion in God tier scenes. But I think Hunter Hunter has the potential right now, man. Shit. I think it's gonna do it. I think it's gonna do it. And now we're to the episode that people have been telling me about since I started anime. Episode 131 of Hunter x Hunter. You ask anybody about their favorite scenes or favorite anime or a favorite thing in Hunter x Hunter or just anime in general, bro. They always mention 131. And I finally get to understand what it's about, bro. I finally get to understand what it's about. Oh, here we fucking go. Anger and light. What a title for an episode, man. God, we are here. We're here. This is big, man. This is fucking big. Everybody can't wait for me to see this shit. <laughs> you don't fuck with his brother, man. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Wait for me to get there. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, what's gonna happen in this castle, man? No royal shit's happening. They keep doing these, these scenic shots of the gods and and the, the, the fucking candles. Just making sure it works. 
but I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh my god, I'd love to see her try. You do not mess with Gon right now. I don't even want to know what he's gonna do. What the fuck am I watching? Remember when I said that Netero had the power to kill the king? I don't know what is is happening right now, but between the OST and and, and, and the, the the atmosphere right now, everything moving, she is in complete disbelief right now. What is what? What the fuck? This is it. No! No! To who? To who? To oh my god! No! What the fuck? He, he made triple qualified? I've seen that picture before! It's from this! She doing a fucking crane kick from Karate Kid? I don't care if this is the end. That was probably my favorite fucking quote in anime right now, man. Holy shit! Insanity, man! He just eisened! This scene got its own OST. Now I know why this episode was so revered. What the fuck is that? King! What he transform? Wait, 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 wait. It's like Bisky. How Bisky could be big but then small, but he like reversed it where he's bigger now. Yo, yo, what he's <laughs> he's wearing the same clothes. But his voice is a little deeper. No, that's his angry voice, dude. This is insanity. Nah, nah. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Oh no! 10 out of 10! 10. 10 out This is the fucking best, man! This rivals Attack on Titan to me now. This is it, this is it, this is my top three. It's official. It's official. It, it just kicked right out. It kicked right in, man. I think I kicked Van Lance Saga out of my top three spot. It, 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 it's fucking Attack on Titan, One Piece, and, and, and Hunter Hunter right now. I, I think this is it, man. This is it. This is putting it in, in the top three for me. What is this soothing guitar melody right now? He is that fucking powerful right now? His feet are making those stomp sounds? I, 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 I can't, I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. I, I think this is the best episode. No, I don't think. Fuck that, man. This is the best one. Are you serious? Nothing comes close to this. The magnitude of, 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 of. Refine, wrapping the story up. What the fuck are you thinking? Are you dumb? Holy shit! He did a full dodge. Oh my god! Is he gonna fucking chop her now? Oh no no no! He's gonna he's gonna kick her. He's gonna do it. He's gonna kick her into the sky. <laughs> oh, I thought he's gonna launch her. Fuck! What? No! No! Oh, she's gonna say, imagine he does the jank and shit! He does his move! He's gonna fucking kill her. He's gonna literally kill her. What was that sound? This is another show. This is a- this is an- This is the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. It's rare I'll say something's better than Attack on Titan. But I think this is my favorite fucking scene right now, man.
途切れかけた意識の底で。Oh, he used his power on her and not the king? Is that why she's so thankful? Bro, she literally said he could rival the king right now. Imagine that! Not even Netero could! Like, Netero needed a bomb planted inside of him to compete with the fucking king. And still didn't even do the job! Who the fuck is this kid? Why is he so powerful? Imagine what Ging is like! Imagine Kasoka saw this! Oh no, he likes kids. He... Oh my god. She looks like a, 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 a Barbie doll that was thrown in a fucking shredder. Oh god! She looks like a squash bug! He fucking squashed her! He killed her! No, she's still alive. She's still alive. What's Kilo going to think when he sees this? Oh my god, he keeps using the punches in a repeated pattern like that? He could, he could keep doing that? Oh my god. その姿を見てすぐにビスケを連想したキルアだったが全く異質なものだと直感したビスケは逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に Is, what, what, what the fuck? No way, no! What the f It's like how Kite lost his arm. Now he's like Kite. That was like a terrible joke. Oh my god. Not during a scene like this. This has been my face the whole episode. Even after death. So it's it's it, it, it literally dead. He's dead. She's dead. Daijobu. What? No. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. I thought I was making a joke. He just made the joke too. He's just as twisted as I am. He said, "Now I can be just like Kite." Oh, what the fuck? He killed in his arm. You know what, man? This is. What you call the perfect story. You want perfection? You go to Tagashi. Did he do it? Did he do it or did he let go? Oh, he fucking did it. Oh, he fucking did it. This is like equivalent to the explosion that exploded Netero in Meruem. Sagashi, you are Sagachi. Oh my god. I don't even know where to begin. That sentence that Gon said, where he was like, I don't care if this is the end. And then him having that internal conflict with the whole, I did it. No, Pito did it. I did it. Pito did. And then. The growth of, or, or that thing growing within him, like that, that, it was like this red thing, and then it, this black aura, this evil fucking aura surrounded him, and it made him grow. He turned into like this black ghost, and then he transformed. And I, for a second, I was like, that looks a little weird. Like this grown ass body, looks like a crop top, and his shorts, and then his voice, but it worked. It worked. 
the fucking OSTs these last two episodes, especially in 131, Anger and Light. Remarkable, man. That shit was legendary. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that was the greatest thing I've seen in anime so far. And I'm, I'm talking like when I'm talking about the greatest scenes of anime that I've seen, I put that with like the whole transformation scene with Rent, with, um, with, um, the um, Colossal Titan Armor Titan. I'm talking about the whole Aaron reveal with the, um, wait, wait, where he, um, reveals to Zeke and his father that he's the one that orchestrated all of it. That one, the whole thing with, in, in Attack on Titan with, um, what's it called? Aaron, uh, Aaron Kruger. Like, those were my, 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 like, pinnacle. But this scene, episode 131, took one of those spots. It honestly did. And Hunter Hunter's in my top three. It's, it's undebatable. Honestly, it's undebatable. It's such a great fucking story. It's perfection. It's perfection. And Chimera and Ark has been my favorite arc in anime so far. And now you hit me with my favorite scene. I can't believe it, man. I am so involved and so drowned in Tagashi's world of Hunter Hunter that I cannot wait to like read the manga after this. I don't think the anime is ever returning, but once the the anime ends, I want to like keep up on this. I want to see what happens. Where the fuck is Krapika? Where's the Phantom Troop? I heard that you're gonna dive more into Krapika's life after this. I can't wait, man. What a fucking journey it's been, and we still have a whole nother arc after this. We still gotta meet King. What happens to Gon now? How much did he sacrifice? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But, guys, let me know down below. How did this episode affect you? What did you think of Gon's transformation? Seeing him completely lose it. Literally, the rumbling into one single person. And Gon became the most powerful being in the entire universe in that moment. He could defeat the king. He could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king in that form. Kind of makes me want to like see that one day, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I think something's about to happen. You can't coexist with the king and Pito, and and you, Pito is dead. So next we have to see Yuppie and Poof die, and eventually Merum, Miriam, God man, fucking God tier. Tagashi is among a god, the gods, bro. You put him right next to Oda and Miura, and, and shit, shit, man. <laughs>